Jabri is 28 years old and currently living with his parents. He moved in so that he can afford to bring his fiance Miona to the States on a K-1 visa. This is a very expensive undertaking to start. But according to Jabri, he spent his savings traveling with his fiance. To bring her to the States, he reportedly moved from LA to South Dakota so that he can save up some money and build himself back up financially. But there's an old saying, you can never go home. This is James from My Take on Reality. Let's get it. You can never go home. Can you physically return to the structure where you grew up? Yes. The problem is when you get there, not only is it different, but you are different. Jabri is not going to be the same person who left home. He left home when he was 17. That was 11 years ago. This means he's had over a decade of not following anybody's rules but his own. Now he's moving back to rural America. There's an old song. How are you going to keep him down on a farm after they seen Parade? He's been living the rock star lifestyle and now he's going to cut grass? Good luck with that. The biggest obstacle he's going to have returning home is how his parents deal with him once he's there. The last time they all lived together, he was a child. Now he's returning as a man with a wife. Jabri not only has the burden of creating his role as a husband, but he will have to do it while he redefines his relationship with his parents. Here are some of the complications he's going to have in going home. Jabri is not their roommate. Historically, he may have lived with people to share expenses. This is not the situation with his parents. Jabri's parents are allowing him to come home to save money. They aren't looking for him to kick in to help them pay the mortgage. After 11 years, parents or not, anyone moving in is an imposition. Here's a dirty little secret. His parents are most likely still doing a naked mambo. To this day, I have a key to my parents' house, and I always call before coming over. One, it's the right thing to do. Anything else is just rude. Two, I'm not trying to see something I am fine going to my grave having never seen. My eyes! My eyes! Oh, my eyes! See, now they have their son and a stranger moving in. Jabri will struggle with getting his parents to see him as an adult. Likewise, his parents are going to struggle getting him to understand that they are not just his parents, but they are a couple. Here's a story. When I was 16, I had a friend who didn't have a curfew. I came in late a few times and my parents would make comments. Being a teenager and smelling myself, one night I came in somewhere near midnight. Mom was up in my face talking to me. I thought I had the gift of gab. Keep in mind, I was about 6'4 at the time. And when I went to say something, I don't even think I got a sentence out. And my mother had picked me up and bit me backwards over her dresser. I looked over her shoulder and I saw my dad coming in hot. I knew I was done data. I was on the verge of taking a hard L. All I got out was whoa, 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 whoa. My mom let me go. I got up, got myself together, and I listened real good after that. They had my full attention. It was at that moment I realized two things. One, don't stay out late. I will be on time from now on. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Two, and more importantly, at that moment, I wasn't talking to my mother. I was talking to my father's wife. In its first episode, Jabri's mom expressed that she didn't want Miona dressed provocatively in the house. Jabri thought that this was just his mom being a controlling prude who was trying to test Miona. <clears throat> That was a woman saying she doesn't want another woman traipsing around her house half naked in front of her man. The misunderstanding comes in where as a child growing up in that house, Jabri only knew them in the capacity of parent. However, although they are his parents, they have a relationship that has nothing to do with him. Regardless of whether Jabri's father ever looked twice at Miona, that is not the point. This is a matter of respect. You know, please don't be walking around this woman's house with your cheeks hanging out because mom doesn't sound like she's in a turn in the cheek mood. Jabri's mama see them booty cakes or them girls. She gonna be turning that mother out. There's gonna be some furniture moving around in there. Now later I noticed that the parents were trying to talk to Jabri and give him advice. Advice is free. Experience can cost you everything. Or, as the old folks used to say, a hard head makes a soft ass. Jabri's parents pointed out that he has trouble taking advice, so he has to experience it. This is not a positive. It's a huge negative. Wise men don't need advice. Fools won't take it. Now don't get me wrong, I love Jabri's confidence. If he's gonna make it in the entertainment industry, specifically music industry, he's gonna need that confidence in 
in spades. However, his confidence turns into a liability because he doesn't allow room for additional information. When his parents tried to talk to him about his finances, he broke off into a sales pitch. How much do you have? It don't matter. I'm a hustler. I can sell anything. I can sell ice to an Eskimo. I can sell meat to a vegetarian eating vegetables. I blah, 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 blah. Truth is, by avoiding the question, you aren't demonstrating confidence, rather insecurity. If you really believe in what you're saying, you would have no problem saying it and backing it up. Now, we'll see how this goes moving forward through the season, but I don't see where Jabri's parents are trying to kill or stifle his dreams. If anything, they're trying to protect his dreams with more vigor than Jabri. So far, everything they said makes sense to me. They are trying to support Jabri in a way that allows him to live his best life. To Jabri, or anyone in a similar situation. There's an African proverb. When an old person dies, a library burns to the ground. Life hack. Take advantage of that knowledge while the library still stands. Don't take it for granted. For one day, it will be gone. My name is James. That's my take. And I'm out. Cause I've been living life.